You ready? Yeah. Hi, I'm Mark Radley, and um, myself that bumped into Berlusconi and where the came from. <laughs> we cut that? That'll be in now. Give us a sec, baby. I'm just making a little uh, quick five minute video interview for the end of, this, of the video show. Okay, bye bye. See you in a bit. Chris is giving me a lift home, by the way. <laughs> okay, see you in a bit. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was like thinking when he was on, on match of the day and he was like... Oh. <laughs> Are you still filming? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Look where you go. That'll be the saga. Hi, I'm Mark Radley. Um, it was myself that sat next to Berlusconi where the play originally initiated from. Yeah, I'm Paul Duckworth. I'm the actor that played Mark in an incarnation uh, uh, created by John Graham Davis. That man there, winding cables. Um, it's a real thrill to do a piece like this because it only comes along once in a once in a blue moon that you get some really good writing and a fantastic real life story given by Mark. How much of the story is real? I think there's more more to it more to it than, than obviously I originally originally thought. As John has, has done some things that I didn't even have to tell him and to, to work with uh, my my 10, 15 minutes which would bore people to sleep is obviously you know obviously made the play but it's John's writing that's brought it all to life and all credit goes to, to, to Paul on stage how, he's, how he performs and John's, John's writing's been fantastic. Yeah, I think what John captures within the city is like a lot of feel of if you've been a resident in Liverpool for the last 20 years and even more so what he captivates in that in the two hours on the stage is, is just it's, it's, it just sums up so many feelings that a lot of people have and a lot of memories and also the emotion he captures, that's that, that sense, the innate feeling to be a Liverpoolian and to have gone through everything that Liverpool has gone through over the past 20, 30 years, you know. How do you find doing, having so much pressure on you on doing a two hour show by yourself? It's, uh, it's good, it's a good workout. As an actor you generally get like, you know, the odd lines and occasionally if you get a star and roll in something, it's, uh, that's a bit of a challenge. But then you're usually within, on, within an ensemble of a cast, and so you, you, you're just another cog in, in, a, in, in a part of the big machine. We're not saying that I'm just the initial cog in this machine because there's a lot of people behind the backgrounds, like Mark, for instance, there's John, there's Matt Lutter, the director, there's uh, Gemma Dunn, who's the lighting technician and, and our, 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 our stage manager, basically. And um, there's a lot of people that have helped out along the road to get it to the point where it is now. And without their, without their help and their input, we, we you know, would still be just a, a pile of paper on John's desk, probably. Yeah. I know thanks goes to them, they've been unbelievable. But it's a great challenge, it's a great challenge and to rise to it is just is something that, I, as you can, if you, watch the, if you watch what's gone on this evening, you'll see that halfway through it all, well most of the time through it all, I'm really enjoying myself. It's kind of like the best job in the world when it's going like that. And what's it like seeing yourself on stage and your story told? I think Paul's better looking than me. I mean, <laughs> it's, uh, I think Paul does does myself justice and, uh, and more. I mean, my part of it, as I say, is, is, is fantastic, but the whole thing is is overwhelming. And to see yourself, to see the part which with me, I get quite embarrassed when I see the part that is actually is is all to do with what's happened with me. It's quite it's embarrassing, but it's also fantastic to see that you know something an experience that happened to me all by accident and by chance is now being you know is being performed by, by a great actor like Paul and to be be seen by a lot of people. And is the, is the story of your mates and your wife and family and stuff like that, is that all kind of from you? Or Marie, who is Paul's wife, or sorry, <laughs> Kenny's <laughs> wife, is, my wife is Jenny and she's a little bit tamer than Marie. Um, yeah. She's not I'll such a firebrand. <laughs> so she's a... Uh, She's, she's a little bit, and, and the fact that there's a lot, there's a lot of all the relevance, like Paul said, I mean, without being making it look like stereotypes or anything else, there's a lot of relevance that a lot of people there can actually relate to and touch on with a lot of the play. And uh, yeah, so uh, not just myself. Good luck with the rest of the tour, guys. Thanks very much. Thanks Thank very, you much. very much. Thank you. Thank you. Come and see it. God bless you. Cheers, mate. Tell Anna. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Cheers mate. That's it. That's how you get it. Totally enough. Shit!